Hello, you lovely Mario Maker person. My name is Steve and welcome back. Today we start our new series, Fantastic Animals and how to create them. And we start with a whales episode. Today's episode might require a little bit more imagination than usual, but I'm sure I'll feature all the whale designs you all have been waiting for, for so long. You ready? Let's do this. So here's our first whale design. It looks like Mario entered the door that dropped him somewhere in the middle of the ocean. Oh no, our plumber almost got trapped in a huge underwater stage forever. Luckily Mario landed on this tail fin, so now he only has to survive for a little bit until a piece switch drops from the sky and Mario is able to leave. Here Mario has to ride on the back of a huge... um... Let's call it a whale. While whale riding sounds like a really fun and relaxing experience, it is not, as Bowser left fire-spitting piranha plants all over the place. But with precise jumping and the help of Mario's sidekick twin brother, he should be able to survive this horrific experience without taking physical harm. This um, whale contains a small puzzle. Mario needs to reach the pipe to the right, but sadly the pipe is in the mouth of this huge mammal. Hmm, it looks like our plumber has to force him to open his mouth. Luckily there is a blue platform to the left and dropping it down will allow Mario to reach the pipe, but first he has to defend himself against some Goompas. Let's quickly talk about the whale basics. According to Wikipedia, whales are creatures of the open ocean. They feed, mate, give birth, suckle and raise their young at sea. So extreme is their adaption to life underwater that they are unable to survive on land. Whales range in size from 2.6 meters and 130... Just kidding. Here Mario is on a... Um... Let's call it a boat. And while traveling on a boat through the ocean sounds like a lot of fun, it is not, as Bowser left our plumber some horrific spiked whales to destroy his holidays. Poor Mario, it looks like there is no place where he is safe. So better concentrate and jump and run and jump as hitting a spiky whale really hurts. This whale got trapped by Bowser in a lava lake. Oh no, this poor guy. He's so stressed, he can't even breathe anymore through his blowhole. Maybe Mario can help. If Mario goes to the right, the Popubu fireball gets loaded and if our small Italian friend escorts this fireball back to the start, the Bob Omp gets ignited, allowing this swamp to trigger the P-switch. Hooray! It looks like the whale is able to breathe again. Now Mario only needs to figure out how to leave the... Oh, thank you whale! And now let's have a look on my favorite whale idea. Mario is in the ocean, but it looks like he is in trouble as the ocean drift, here symbolized by this bullet blaster bill caught him. His only chance of surviving is to avoid getting crushed by all the huge marine life, but if he manages this horrific bath, he will be rewarded with one of the flagpoles he loves so much. And that's it for today and for whales. But before you leave, I have a small announcement to make. I want to make a tips, tricks and ideas video not featuring my ideas, but yours. So if you have any cool levels that include a cool creative idea that you think isn't well known, please leave me a level ID in the comments. While I can't promise that I'm able to feature each level you leave me, I promise that I will at least take a look at each stage. So thank you for watching, I hope you have a wonderful April and to see you soon with even more tips, tricks and ideas in Super Mario Maker. Goodbye!